tu tu ru tu ru tu tu ru tu ru tu ru tu tu ru tu ru tu ru tu tu ru tu ru tu So I was just minding my own business when I see everyone's favorite Kirby game reviewer, and dude, has uploaded his Super Kirby Class review. Having really enjoyed this new Kirby game, I was expecting some praise for all the things it fixed and did well, compared to its uh, 3DS predecessor, and instead, uh, all I got was an overall unfair review that completely ignores all of the game's new features, virtues, and the fact that anyone can basically play it for 10 hours straight without spending any money. The microtransaction issue from Team Kirby Class Deluxe has been completely wiped out of the picture. Uh, and you may be thinking, what's this guy saying? That this game is uh, full of microtransactions. Okay, okay, I got you. They are a thing. But take it from someone who bet the campaign in three days without paying for a single game apple. Microtransactions in this game can be easily ignored and you can get a full experience, even 100% completion, for free. Now what bothers me about the situation here is many Kirby fans, and even just the average Switch owners, are going to watch this review from a well-known Kirby-loving YouTuber and be absolutely misguided. I know, Andu didn't do this on purpose, but it just feels lazy of him not to give a proper chance to this game and jump to conclusions so rapidly, especially when this could lead to people just assuming this game is not worth their time and missing out on a game they could have most likely enjoyed. And I know why this happened, and immediately assumed this was gonna be like the previous game and spent a whopping $40 without blinking an eye. What's even worse, the game lets lazy players engage in a pay to win easy mode system, so, sort of, if they just spend all their cash in gem apples, allowing you to heavily boost your stats and speed run through the game as if it were nothing. These stat boosts actually make sense if you follow the game's uh, regular progression system and save up gem apples by actually completing quests and completing challenges as well. This way, you are rewarded for your efforts and progress in a way that makes sense. And that's the thing here. This game has you swimming in gem apples from the start, with every quest having four challenges to complete which in turn uh, give you back all the game apples you spend to unlock it, plus a few more to spend in harder quests or new equipment. Not only that, but there are also new party quests, which are free to unlock, save for some post-game quests, and have 9 challenges each, making them a fun way to get gem apples. What's even better is the party quests have a separate bygone meter from story quests, and give additional XP if you play them online. For starters, every time you level up, you get all of your Vigor back, both Vigor meters, meaning you can effectively alternate between both modes and keep on playing for hours upon hours without having to wait or pay for additional game apples. And if that wasn't good enough, you can join a friend's party, help them complete their quests, get extra EXP, and don't spend any Vigor in the process. That's right, you can get EXP from helping friends and play for as long as you want without consuming any of your Vigor, as long as you're playing with friends online. There's also local co-op, which wasn't there in the 3DS version. So to sum up, this game's got a few extra bosses, the microtransactions have been fixed, you can play with friends now, and it's got around 30 hours worth of playtime just to beat a request without paying or waiting in the main story. Just save your gem apples, use them wisely, complete challenges, call some friends if you're having a bad time, or help them if you're low on Vigor and XP. My friend Frost, from the Spanish Kirby Amino, has achieved 100% completion without paying in under 2 weeks and got 70 plus hours out of this game for free. Hopefully, I've done some justice to this new underrated Kirby spin-off and encouraged some people who were convinced this was just some Kirby mobile game or a 3D sport to give it a chance. This is basically Kirby meets Monster Hunter here, so I assure you, it's really fun. Especially coordinating with your friends online to beat some boss that's 10 levels above you with the power of friendship and class synergy. And that dude, my boy, 
if you're watching, which I find unlikely, please give this game another chance without paying for the 5,000 gem apples. It is worth playing and has a lot of new features that make it better than the 3DS version. You just have to have the patience to play through it at a regular pace. I may also make a video soon talking about this game's significance to Kirby Lore, as it expands on Galactonite, the Ancients, Void Termina, and the lore of the multiverse, which is very complicated to say the least. Uh, that said, I'll be going now. Hope you all have a good time playing Super Kirby Clash. If you don't have any friends to play with, feel free to add me on Discord and on the Switch, and I'll gladly join your party and help you out. You can find links and friend code in the description and comments of this video. I'm Whitblue, this has been a Whitblue video, and I'll see you all in the next Whitblue video. And now, as our favorite Kirby character space with word would say, Jambu bye!